Do you wanna see where smart money is selling Mullen stock? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you that. I'm also gonna be talking about the possibility that David actually accepted those shares. And by those shares, I mean over 8 million that he was awarded based on certain things he got done for the company. So before I get started, don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. Drop a like, would always appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And let's get right into it. This document came out and you can see this is David's insider trades with Mullen. You can see the sells that the insiders have done and you can see the buys and you can also see what was awarded, what was gifted, right? So you can see right here, check the dates. It tells you right there is about November 2nd. This was filed, okay? He was presented the shares before, but it looks like it was filed on the second. And also if you check the math right here with how many shares this is, it equals 8.4 million. Then if you look at this form four, check below me, you can see the shares, they equal 8.4 million. So again, do your own research, do what you think is best. This is not financial advice to tell you to buy or sell or anything, just sharing news and updates with you all. But to me, it's looking like David has accepted these shares. So I hope, David, that you are long on the stock like you say you are, where you want the longs to get rich, you want the shorts to go long because you just came up on over 8 million shares of Mullen. And if this gets to a dollar, that's $8.4 million for you. So congrats. Let's see where we go from here. Now let me share some important information on where smart money is selling and why also I'm probably gonna be selling in this area as of right now, of course, that depends on all the indicators I talk about. I just wanna make you all aware of what could potentially be the next pullback zone because we know how Mullen moves and the goal for all of us, this is free information. If you wanna learn more, of course, with all the stocks we're trading, we bought Palantir at 1469. We sold it at 18 and I do think it's gonna go lower. Okay. We've been trading Tesla a lot. We traded DraftKings. I, I shared that on my Twitter. We've traded a lot of different stocks. Okay. And the goal for this next year is to lock in on very, very good companies where you can get some nice gains and overall increase your share count if you like that company like Palantir, like Tesla, like even Mullen. So let's get into it. Check out the links down below. Join the Patreon. You can get in for $7 a month right now. Let's break this chart down like we always do. Today I'm gonna to be showing the daily time frame with you all, and there's a couple things you wanna look at. Let's first look at the stochastic. You see momentum is moving up, but if you go prior and you see every time the stochastic curls down and we get to a high point, Molin tends to fall. So I'm watching this very closely um, because I'm not playing any more games right now with Molin, and I've been studying it for over a year. So I'm pretty locked in on what I think is gonna happen next. The RSI obviously is looking good to me. The yellow line, we're actually curling up right now and we're trading above it on a daily time frame. Now again, when we cross down under the yellow line, Mullen tends to fall. Okay, as of right now, we're good. We're not oversold yet either. Um, overbought, excuse me. The RSI is at 42 on a daily time frame. And on a four hour, I will just tell you real quick, we're at 51. So not overbought at all. You really wanna wait till we get to like the 60s and even 70s. For Mullen, it's more like 60s um, on a four hour time frame. But other stocks, I mean, they'll go over 70. Mullen has done that as well. I'll just tell you real quick, on the RSI, Mullen has gotten as high as it looks like 73, okay? On a daily time frame. So of course, that's very, very overbought for a stock like Mullen. If on the daily time frame we're over 70, I'm selling. I'm selling everything, okay? And this is just one way to understand when stocks are oversold and when they're overbought. Right now, Mullen's in the middle. It needs to make a decision. It needs to figure out what it wants to do. I do think it will move higher for a lot of different reasons. Another thing that I'm watching is the Keltner channels. You can see the white line right here. Once it hit this, that was a buy signal. So every time the, the, the stock not every time, but it's a good indicator that tells you when we hit the white line, we're gonna move up, right? So we were oversold, we hit the white line, stochastic was low, a lot of different things happened, and then Mullen moved up from 22 and some change all the way up to 35 cents, 36 cents. 
So right now we're trading actually above the middle Keltner channel, which is a positive sign. We've been testing it, but we've been holding above it. So I would expect us to move up to the yellow Keltner channel. Um, and then also this is where smart money is selling. Okay, so what this means is, this is a smart money concept by Lux Algo, and it tells us when smart money usually gets out of stocks and when they get into stocks. I've covered this with other stocks on the channel as well, but this zone right here is very important. This is a lot of resistance as well. Um, the resistance is gonna be starting around 39 and some change, 39 cents, not $39, and then it could go all the way up to about 48 cents is what this zone is right here. So this is a very, very important area that you want to be aware of. We could see some heavy resistance, some heavy pullbacks. Um, the other indicator that's telling me this is this is the 382 level on a Fibonacci being 42, 43 cents. That's why I've been saying that level, but we can move as high, let's say as 49 cents, but there could be some pullbacks. So that's why I'm going to be watching the stochastic, the RSI very closely. Also the Keltner channel, when we tend to touch the yellow line, that is another sell signal for us. So guys, it's 5.20 in the morning. I'm a little late on today's video. I'm usually up pretty early. Kids are crazy, you probably hear them in the background, but that's, that's the goal, man. This is life. This is what I wanted to create this channel for, just to kind of get you guys into my world a little bit. Of course, practice gratitude every single day. Grateful for what we have, grateful for another day, but also just understanding how stocks move, how the charts work. I wanna make it as simple as possible because I know it can get very confusing, and that's why you gotta find your strategy. You wanna stick with it, use the indicators that you use, and from there you can only get better, right? If you keep practicing and practicing, keep studying every single week, then this thing will get very easy and then you can have fun with your family, you can raise your kids, you can do whatever you need to do. I also value learning skill sets. I think that's way more important than what most of us are taught in this world. Learn a skill set, go all in on it, focus on it, just attack every single day. So guys, let me know what you're doing down below. Are you buying, selling, holding? Are you buying today? I actually ended up buying yesterday some Molin stock. I'm glad that I'm actually green on that trade because I've been studying Molin so much every single day and I'm really thinking we can push higher to certain levels that I've shared with you. Let me know what you think about David. How accurate do you think that document is? Do you think he accepted these shares? Do you think they're just kind of like floating around right now? It's very confusing. Um, he was awarded the shares, so I believe that he did accept them. Now he hasn't sold them. We don't see anything like that yet. That would be very concerning, I think, if David goes out and sells these shares. And I think it would show, that's probably the final blow, right? I think for most retail, a lot of people are on David's side, but it's just not adding up the way he is as a CEO. So he's gotta do the right things, of course. Have a good morning, guys. See you on the next one.